situation where you don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. It's, I, it's really awkward. He'll I, use side hold in combos, and then you have to actually wake up and block. If you try to roll, you can get caught by reverse side hold. The A plus B, B yeah. yeah. Very, very I would awkward. say even outside of reverse uh, side hold, Outlaw is good at applying uh, Six Breed's A slide B and his AGA to like, not exactly 50 50 you, but put you put you under large amounts of pressure at mid range. Yeah, that's the 50 50. So here we go, we're getting right into it. <laughs> and almost immediately, Outlaw, Outlaw loves using 6A to mix you up. Oop! <laughs> Dexter trying to get a sneaky, uh, sneaky gunshot in. Outlaw not falling for that though. Ducking under it. Playing around in neutral. Outlaw, good block on that second row. And here we go with the A plus B pressure. Blocked and here we go with that wall rising A. That move is nasty. It is punishable though. And Destro definitely uh, abusing these plus frames against Sigfried. You know, Sigfried. Too much respect from Outlaw right now. Like, well, respecting everything. It cost him in the first round and his guard bar. Totally, yeah. Just flashing red. And you know, Sigfried, although he does have an I-12, unlike unlike Knight, yeah, is he still slow? You know, he just doesn't have that many fast moves. Yeah. And Outlaw looking a lot more exactly comfortable that, that round, yeah. Exactly that, 3K. <laughs> and he's totally fine now. Took the round back, no longer in red. Ooh, and the IGDR immediately. Not a great punish from Outlaw, though. Yeah. 3A4 and 6 6 8 plus second, second hit whiffs, as it does sometimes. Ooh, did you see that? The uh, Outlaw out reacted to him hitting the wall and then teleporting behind him and then ducked oh. because he gets a new throw in and then cut it. That was sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I always get bamboozled by those uh, teleport mix ups. Yeah, they're pretty sneaky. <laughs> Outlaw looking real solid right now. Took him, took him around to get his bearings, but uh, coming in, cool, AGA immediately. There's that A slide B. He really, really likes that move neutral. And why not, right? That move's got like. Yeah. But uh, Death is sitting on too far. Oh, oh no! Oh, he dropped the AK. Yeah, that could have rung out. Ooh! Ooh! That's uh, a really nasty AGI move from Cervantes. You know, AGI is all, I think, uh, not just weapon horizontals, but it'll GI body attacks too, which is not like most AGI. Is this gonna work? Oh, it does it, not. It didn't work. But no, no, no powerful punish. But it doesn't matter. He does 3K, gets 2K in, just pokes him to death. If you're gonna read back some of CE, he has to be at least negative two. Yeah. And then second game, or sorry, later on in the round, he made the adjustments and he looked real comfortable and neutral. You know, just sitting like right, right at 3B range where it's kind of hard for Cervantes to put a button, push a button. You know. Yeah, because like at that range, even if Cervantes hits you with like his 3B, it's not gonna launch because it doesn't launch in temporary. So Cervantes kind of like he wants to use his movement and his neutral. But against a character like Siegfried that's got such good tools at mid-range, it can be difficult. Yeah, yeah you got to call him out on something. Right? If you think he's going to A plus B, you got to step. If you think he's going to ATA, you got to duck. And both of those you know, defensive options lose to the other one. Uh, so it, he puts enormous pressure on you at mid-range if the player is good at applying those moves, which Outlaw, I, I feel, is. Yeah. Here we go. We're kind of... Kind of, oh, here we go again. So, Destro is applying that plus on block pressure that Servi is so good at right now. Whoa, that was extremely weird. I think that was like a step into 3B that just caught the uh, DDR. Oh, but this is going to hurt. That relaunch with the A plus B. And a good block there. Not the most powerful punish, but at least. Yeah. Yeah, that's And he broke him. Is this going to be a kill? This has got to be a kill, right? Yep. And that was a one-round break from Destro. Yeah. The Outlaw just blocking too many A plus Bs. And, you know, it's hard to not block that thing because it's a little difficult to step. Um, it's a little difficult to, like, just kind of get away from. Uh, and yeah. 
And this is kind of like what we were seeing uh, last game, too, where uh, Destro takes the first round in kind of pretty dominating fashion, and then Outlaw just immediately makes an adjustment and fights back. Yep. Finishing off the CE, tied 1-1 one, one in meter and rounds. Ooh, just missing that jump kick. It's looking like a game of Destro needs to guess right. He needs to stop whipping. And, uh, Maybe whip punish a little better, block a little better. Yeah, I, I feel like Destro is doing pretty well when he gets in. Oh, oh that was my a God. sick reversal impact. He, he had the swag like, out like get, that. Get that, get that gun the hell out of here. Get that shit out of my face. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> but Destro's got some. Destro's got to recover from that mentally because getting here, you know, I feel like players are still getting used to uh, stuff like that happening in season two. Whereas as in season one, that gunshot to the face would have been guaranteed. I mean, as long as he didn't die, would have been uh, couldn't do anything about it in terms of. Oh, GI. I'll be teched out of it though. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Destro clearly doing some kind of setup there. Good block. Awesome. Bang bang. Yeah, but but that it cleared him out. Ooh, got him with the GDR. That one finally hit. Uh, Outlaw's been kind of stepping those, but he gets hit with the. Uh, with the 3B for the lethal, and then he gets lethaled again with the reversal, uh, reverse uh, hold K. Sick That's so is nasty. Strong. Perfectly balanced.